Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Satyajit Patnaik and in this video, we shall be talking about what are the different skills required to become a data scientist in 2022. Why are we focusing on 2022? How is it different from 2021 and 2020? There is a lot of differences. Right now, many people are entering the field of data science and analytics. Competition is very high. So it's very difficult if you just know the basics or just no machine learning or just no deep learning. If you are having high experience, then you might have to know various other skills as well. Cloud, like Ensemble, Kubernetes, Docker. So a lot more topics are required. Only machine learning will not be able to help you out in finding a job. That is the reason why I'm talking about 2022. What are the skills required, right? Companies are raising their bar to get good candidates we shall be talking about all these things in depth in this video so stay tuned we'll be talking about data science skills in 2022 now talking about 2022 what's new in 2022 what was not there in 2021 well everything stays the same skills stays the same the prerequisites to understand data science stays the same but the requirements has changed many companies these days have raised their bar which basically means what they were looking for in candidates in 2021 they are not the same in 2022 they want more and more skills and that is the reason data science industry is growing and growing now in this video we shall be talking about three different experience categories and for each one of them what are the skills required and once we are done with the skills i'll also talk about some of the resources that you can easily avail from the internet freely so we'll divide the experience range into three different categories one is basic intermediate and advanced what is basic basic basically means for people who are under four years of experience fresher with zero years of experience still four years experience range what are the different skills required for them you have to learn either one of the programming languages either power bi sorry either python or r language then you also need to learn sql or databases Databases are of two types, SQL and NoSQL. For the better understanding, for initial understanding, you can just make sure you know what exactly is MySQL. That's it. After that, basics of maths and statistics are also required. Concepts like linear algebra, mean median mode, normal distribution, etc. etc. are required. And then basics of machine learning is also required, which includes classification, regression, and some sort of uh, different use cases. Now, where to study each one of them? Python, I already have a dedicated playlist where you can learn Python. For SQL also, I do have a dedicated playlist. Basics of math and stats. For stats, I do have a playlist for stats. For mathematics, I'm uploading one of the playlists in just two weeks from now. Coming back to machine learning, well, I don't have anything on my channel right now, but I'm pretty much sure you will find tons and tons of resources on YouTube itself. Coming back to the second category, which is intermediate. For intermediate, I have given an experience range of four to eight years. Anything and everything that was covered in basics are also there. On top of that, you need something extra detailed understanding of maths and stats detailed understanding of various machine learning algorithms and deep learning algorithms are also required after intermediate we'll talk about advanced now this is where most of the people i know find it very difficult nowadays in many companies they are looking out for experienced professionals on machine learning deep learning and that is just one or two points that's it they also mention power bi tableau cloud you should also know kubernetes docker spark so various other tools are also required in case you are falling under this category 
programming language, SQL, Math Stats, ML, NLP, DL, everything remains. That is something which you already needed. Apart from that, you also need understanding and knowledge on other tools. And that is one of the reasons why you need to upskill yourself again and again and again. So data science cannot be completed in four months or six months or 12 months. It's a recurring process. It's been six years. I already am working into the data science industry and I'm learning. The learning curve has to be there. That's all about this particular topic. And when we talk about step-by-step process, the first thing is learning the programming skills. Power Python or R, anything is fine. Learning the database skills, MySQL, Oracle SQL, or MS SQL. Once you are done with that, statistics, mathematics and machine learning for step three machine learning part especially i'm uploading videos in two weeks from now and then comes deep learning talking about deep learning i already have dedicated playlists in my channel all the links of python sql stats deep learning everything will be provided in the description below in case you have any other requirement let's say you are you already know these concepts and you are struggling to write down or prepare your portfolio projects. Then let's say you need a project into XYZ industry. Any requirements ping in the comment section below, comment down below and I will get back to you within a couple of days. That's all from my side guys. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos. That's it. See you.